Guys, Tim here, JK Boots. Today we wanna to talk about what is a steel shank in a work boot and if you actually need one. And then we'll just cover kind of shanks in general for boots and we'll kind of dive into that. So first, let's, let's talk about a steel shank. So this right here, what I'm holding is a classic uh, steel boot shank. It comes in a couple different variations. There's a version where it's like a little thinner and longer um, and there's a, actually a third variation, but this is approximately what it looks like. The purpose of a shank, actually we can see this in our cut in half, and you can see the leather one that we use right here. The purpose of the shank is to offer the support right under the arch and actually to keep the arch support supported and make sure that the arch doesn't lose you know, its, its shape over time. And just to give the center of the boot like almost like, a, like rebar and concrete, like that's almost kind of its purpose. And so that's what a commonly a steel shank is used for. We see it in almost every type of footwear minus like tennis shoes or sneakers. So you'll see it in work boots, cowboy boots, um, regular kind of classic men's and women's footwear. We'll, we'll see it pretty much everywhere. And that's the purpose that it serves. Um, at JK Boots, we try to, we, we don't use steel shanks very often. We only use them in combination for um, the lineman boot that we use to offer more rigidity and support. And so the question of whether you need one or not, it does depend on the wearer. I would say, no, you don't. I believe that a leather shank is better and I can explain why. A steel shank is a good, it, it does its job, but as, in terms of which one is better and if, if you should seek that out or look for one, I don't really like steel shanks because I feel that they don't have any give to them and they're actually very you know, susceptible to like crack and split over time. So if you're talking about, if you take a pair of boots that has a steel shank that's been worn for five years, then you take a pair of boots that has a leather shank that's been worn for five years and you were to open them up. It's very likely that you would see the steel shank would be rusty, probably cracked, and it would be so ridiculously rigid still. And the customer would probably say something about how, man, like that arch support just, it's there. It's kind of like, like standing on a, like a roll of quarters or something like that. If you grabbed a pair of boots that had a leather shank after five years and you open it up, what you would see is that it wouldn't be rusted. It would still be in one piece, it would be intact. And the wearer or the customer would probably say something along the lines of, man, those boots broke in really, really well. They're so comfortable. The arch support is exactly what I needed. And the reason that you'll hear those differences is because when you use a good thick oak tan leather shank, it almost has a mind of its own with the arch support that's built into the boot here that you can see in this cut in half, that it like breaks into your foot. And so as you're wearing it, it will compact and compress according to your arch. And whether it's higher or lower, it kind of plays that way. With steel, it's just one shape and that's it. Um, and also in terms, of, in terms of the rigidity, because we use such a thick leather and in combination with everything that we're doing in here, we're not really losing any strength with going with a thick oak tan leather because this stuff is pretty strong. Whereas, you know, steel is just steel. It is tough, it is strong, it is ridiculously rigid, like it's in there. So it's kind of a bit of a getting down to the specifics. A steel shank will serve its purpose but I do believe that a leather shank is better. I don't think that a steel shank is something that you should seek out as a consumer and consider that as a, oh, it has a steel shank, it's better. I just think that it's, it's there. And it's a reason that, a, the reason that a lot of you know, makers use it, and, and I use it too in, in our climbing boots, is that it's a good option. It, it works, it does its job, and it lasts for a long time, so it's there. Um, with, with our boots specifically, I wanna talk about how we use a steel shank and how, where you should seek out a steel shank is when we're building our climber boots. So for any kind of arborist or lineman, this is called a lineman shank. It's in this shape and it's installed right on top of the midsole. So normally when you would see a pair of our boots, you would see on the bottom where you have the you know, sole logo is there would be like this curve. That's that thick oak tan leather shank that you're seeing. What this is doing is it's going right in there on top of the midsole underneath the rubber sole and it's flattening this area out right underneath the arch of your foot and reinforcing it so that when the, uh, the customer stands on a gaff or stands on a pole or whatever, it's rigid and it's strong and it won't break or bend. That is what a lineman shank serves. And we combine a steel shank with a leather cover shank and then the lineman shank all within the climber boot. So for a climbing boot, like a lineman or arborist, yes, you should seek this out because this is gonna add a rigidity. It's not gonna have flex, which you don't want when you're standing on gaffs or, in a, or on a pole or in a tree because you need that safety, you need that security, and you need it to be rigid. If you're wearing a boot and you're climbing and it's giving you flex and you're, you, know, you feel the pole or you feel the gaff, that is a problem. 
you're wearing the wrong boot. So that is why we do what we do. And that is why we use a steel shank for the climbing boot. So do you need one? If you're looking for a climbing boot or you're an arborist, yes. If you're just looking for a good pair of boots and you're on your feet all day, it's not bad. It's not a requirement. I would say I would almost seek out a leather shank instead, just because in my personal opinion, I feel that it is more comfortable and I do believe that it is better. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have any more, you can comment below. Look at the, look at the rest of our videos, see what else we have to say. Go check out our climber model if that's you. Go check out our Super Duty model if you're looking for just a classic all-purpose boot. We have actually a breakdown video of our Super Duty cut in half, which is this right here, where we talk more in depth about the leather shank that we use. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.